First off, I want to mention that this video is monetized and there will be ads, but all profit made from this video will be donated to the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention in honor of Sully. Sully is an actress, ex-idol, and a human being. Some people seem to forget that. In this video, we're talking about Sully's tragedy and how this will change K-pop forever. And what I believe will prevent things like this and possibly save lives. So if you aren't prepared for this sensitive topic, please click away now. And please stay to the end for my campaign to help raise money to help prevent suicide across America. Sully started her career at 11 years old, making her acting debut in 2005 for an SBS drama. From there, she switched from acting to becoming an idol, auditioning for SM Entertainment and joined the label as a trainee. Debuting as a member in the one-of-a-kind girl group FX in 2009. After a long hiatus from FX, it was announced she would be leaving the group in 2015. But what people might be surprised about is what just happened while we were all sleeping. Suli is no longer a member of FX. From there, she returned to acting, even branching out into modeling, and had her own solo just this year with the song Goblin. Suli grew to be a very successful person in Korean entertainment, but this is where it starts to get dark. Once you start to get successful or have any sort of level of it, you start to become a target. Suli was criticized for her little actions that shouldn't have been a big issue, with the way she acted, not wearing a bra, and simply by being different. K netizens and people online are toxic and relentless. Imagine getting hateful messages every day for years. That will take a toll on the best of us. That, along with Sully's own personal troubles, is what led to her passing. If you want to know more in detail about Sully's death, please look it up on your own. I won't be describing it in this video. K-pop fans are in great shock and mourning after the death of K-pop star and actress Sully. Our Kim bo -kyung tells us more. But sadly, this isn't the first and probably won't be the last time we see something like this happen. Two years ago, the K-pop world was shocked by another idol who has taken their life, Shiny's Junghyun. He was also an extremely talented and loved idol. He too was very successful. Although we don't know the exact motive for Sully, each idol had their own reasoning behind their serious decision. But one thing that is constant aside from the malicious comments is the entertainment company. I don't 100% blame SM Entertainment for what happened either for Junghyun or Sully, but this this could have been possibly prevented. What I really want to see is a psychiatrist and a therapist in-house in the company for the company's artist. Just how JYP's Park Tin Young pushed to have an organic cafeteria for idols to eat healthy. Mental health is just as, if not more important, than physical health. And that is why JYP does it. And the last theme is creativity from happiness. The last theme, but the most important theme, is trying to take care of our employees, make them in the best condition they can ever be. And second, healthy lifestyle. Uh, I really believe this has direct effect on the ideas that the employees generate. Uh, mental care. Uh, we de designated uh, a lot of psychiatrists we personally handpicked the psychiatrist to regularly consult all our employees and our artists. 
Take a listen to what 2PM's Chang Sung shared on his experience with the JYP psychiatrist. There is a psychology teacher who gives mental care at the company. Everyone in JYP, starting from trainees to employees, receive mental care as compensation. But I'm originally an optimistic person. On the day when I met the teacher for the first time, he gave me a check mark on the self-diagnosis for mental health checklist. After I saw it, our conversation went, You're happy even though you're working, right? Yes. No discontent, right? Yes, you don't need any particular mental care and you seem to be interested in psychology, so let's study together. Since then, I started learning psychology with him. It has been three years since. Even those who are already mentally healthy can learn so much just by meeting with a professional. That is why I want to see a psychiatrist or therapist in each entertainment company in K-pop provided to the artist. It, 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 should be, it should be there, it should be a right. And the company should make it mandatory to have the artist meet and have an appointment with a psychiatrist every week, if at the very least every month. In my opinion, this will do so much more than cracking down on malicious comments. But even Korean lawmakers are working on that too. Within the past couple days after Sully's passing, Korean lawmakers created a new law called the Sully Act. It is one of the first major movements in Korea to counteract all the hateful comments online. And this bill has some serious power behind it. 100 Korean organizations and hundreds of Korean celebrities are supporting this bill, the Sully Act. The final bill will be proposed in December to Korea's National Assembly. This is a fantastic first step, but it's a difficult one. Hateful comments are made by nameless, faceless people online. I find that it will be hard to implement a penalty or whatever the repercussions are for sending a hateful message. But with the Sully Act and my idea of having therapists and psychiatrists in each entertainment agency will work fantastically together. This will help strengthen those young idols who are in this system, who are in this society. Think about it. Nine-year-olds to teenagers are joining the K-pop trainee system. These are the most important moments in your life, and these kids are skipping that, going straight to being judged and told how they lack in every way. I cannot help but imagine what this does to a child. This is breeding grounds for depression, anxiety, and those thoughts. If you need more proof of this, Take a look at the news in K-pop. More and more K-pop idols are taking a break from promotions due to severe anxiety. This isn't a coincidence. Pack schedules only a couple hours of sleep and this all starting when they're at a very young age. The development process is totally messed up. There is a much more deeper conversation we can have about how people are so hateful, like netizens online, and, and how that affects idols, but uh, I believe that's for another time. Sadly, this is a never-ending problem in K-pop. Losing the people that make us smile, happy, and even bring us out of our own depression. I wish to live in a world more forgiving and understanding so we don't see these beautiful lives leave this earth way, way too soon. <laughs> That's it for me, and like I mentioned before, I am running a campaign to raise money on GoFundMe to help donate money to the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention in Suli's name. I've done this before for Jung Hyun, but it was a much smaller scale. My goal for this is raising $1,000. And like I said, this video does have ads in order to generate money to donate alongside the campaign. I'm personally donating my own money into this and hopefully you will help out too. All of this money will go to the charity. You won't have to worry about that. I will show receipts and I will show the whole transaction process on my Twitter and Instagram and on YouTube everywhere. So I can 100% guarantee that this money is gonna go to help other people who were in Sully's situation that feel like 
there is no other way but hopefully with this help there will be another way and to help people rise up to help people lift their heads above this this water that the sinking feeling that they have i know there's no cure but we can prevent and we can help spread the knowledge of depression and suicide because it is a growing problem not only across the world but for younger people people that are just growing up that are just beginning their lives it's a sad thing and it's something that i'm really motivated to help prevent in any way possible and with your help we can possibly make a change here head over to the link below or up here to the gofundme consider supporting and this will help honor Sully and help others in the process but anyways guys thank you so much for watching you can check out more videos over here and i'll catch you guys in the next one Annyeong.